Hey everyone, this is Sal from Geek.com, and I'm here with a package that just arrived. I uh, haven't even opened it up yet, and uh, it's a little surprising here for you. It's a it's an HP ProBook 4510. That's the 4510S notebook computer. Uh, the system isn't even out yet, uh, so we are getting an early hands-on. I'm gonna do an unboxing and a, a full review, hopefully out before the system's release date, which should be later this month. Uh, since you probably haven't heard of it, I'll give you a quick background. The, uh, the ProBook is uh, HP's new small business notebook. So uh, think about a ThinkPad SL series. There's definitely going to be some parallels between the two, but uh, we'll have more in the article, and let's proceed to the unboxing. Here it is, FedEx box. This is new packaging for HP. I don't know if you got a lot of HP notebooks in, but this is definitely not how they uh, they normally appear. There's uh, less material here, less packing. So uh, while HP didn't say anything about this, uh, we do know that they're trying to cut down on packing materials. So uh, this is great to see. I already un uh, undid the tape. So let's just uh, take a look at the packing materials. Uh, on the top we have foam taped in or glued in, some foam on top of the notebook, get rid of that, and you can see that the uh, notebook is in here, more foam, again we don't know that this is going to be the retail packaging, so if your HP ProBook doesn't arrive just like this, then uh, you'll know that this is the uh, pre-shipment packaging. Anyway, here's the uh, power cord. We know that HP uses the, uh, the three prong. AC adapter, it's a great size for a 15.6 inch notebook. And uh, that's it. We don't have any product materials. So we could probably assume that this is uh, the packing material that we're only gonna see on a pre-release a, a pre device that out of the way and here we go HP ProBook 4510S it's a 15.6 inch model with a 16 by 9 display uh, LED backlit display other high points include uh, Gobi mobile broadband and uh, has a starting weight of 5.7 pounds so uh, not super light but uh, yeah, here it is. Let's quickly go over it. We see a high gloss outside. Again, reminiscent of the ThinkPad SL, which came out uh, maybe about a year ago. Uh, on the thick side, I'm gonna say 1.5 pounds, uh, 1.5 inches, maybe, maybe 1.4. It's hard to judge, and uh, doesn't feel that heavy. But uh, you know, it's big. Uh, see what I have. I don't have any other notebooks around. Here, I have the uh, for size comparison real quickly. We'll do the uh, this is the HP DV2. So you can get to see just how big the notebook is. Anyway, let's do a quick look at the ports. And I'll have to be looking with you guys because I haven't seen it yet. So we have a uh, lock port, Ethernet. We have uh, VGA, HDMI, dual USB. Then we have a, sorry about that, wireless on-off switch, mic headphone, SDHC card reader, nothing, more USB slots, DVD drive, power, moving to the back, nothing on the back. On bottom, we could see really plain, so you could tell this is a prototype. Obviously, they don't have all the stickers that we'd have to see otherwise. And here's the battery is on the end here. We'll pop it out really fast. There you go. And right on the battery, it says engineering sample. So uh, the final build might be a little bit different than this. So I'm just going to run down the details because they're, uh, they're written on the bottom here. 
So, uh, chipset Intel GMA45, BIOS B04, that probably doesn't matter. CPU is Intel T6570, it's a 2.1 gigahertz processor. And then we have a uh, Fujitsu 250 gigabyte, 50, uh, 540 RPM disk. Uh, two gigabytes of RAM, DVD burner, modem, Intel wireless, Bluetooth 2.0, and uh, yeah, it's basically it. And just confirmation there, this is a prototype. Opening it up, we see uh, this is really good looking. Nice bezel, squared, it looks cool. It's a nice drop hinge. And really exciting on the inside is uh, isolated keyboard. So it's a chiclet style keyboard, which uh, we really, I don't think we've seen from HP yet. I'm trying to think. And I'm not picking up anything. And the big surprise is, look at that. Zoom in. Yeah, that's a full number pad on a 15.6 inch notebook. Not something you see very often. And again, I think it's a first for HP. And we have a good looking bezel area. It looks extra nice because we don't have any Windows or Intel stickers yet, but those will be on the final units. Here's the cursor controls. Sorry, the notebook is big and it's hard to handle. But yeah, here's the cursor controls. Everything looks pretty nice. It's all, uh, it's all plastic, it's not aluminum, but uh, that's basically what we should expect to see from, a, uh, from what's become known as a, a small business notebook. And again, we're thinking like a ThinkPad SL or a Dell Vostro around there. Uh, as for a little bit of metal, we have uh, right here, metal power button. Zoom in there, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so you should be able to see it. The uh, notebook is obstructing my view of the of the camcorder, but yeah, boot it up. Oh, we gotta look at that. That's really cool. The light is blue. I'm not sure if you guys could see it. But there you go. The uh, it's the HP ProBook 4510S. Uh, it's booted up here, so we'll hop over and do the rest of the coverage in the full review. This is uh, Sal Cangeloso from Geek.com. Make sure you stop by the site and uh, look up the Pro Book. Thanks for watching. <laughs>